Welcome to Power Yoga Full Body Flow. This class is from Inner Dimension TV, our monthly streaming platform where you can get unlimited access to all of my full programs, classes, and series. If you're interested in starting your 10-day free trial, I'll drop a link down below. Also, remember to hit that subscribe button and let's go ahead and get started within our flow. Welcome to Power Yoga Full Body Flow. Let's go ahead and begin in Mountain Pose, standing at the top of the mat, bringing the big toes together to touch. And then both hands to prayer position in front of your chest, in front of your heart. Edward Stanley said, those who don't make time for exercise must eventually make time for illness. So let's take these next 30 minutes to exercise the body, the mind, the heart, and the soul. Go ahead and close the eyes, feel yourself dropping in. Take a nice deep inhale through the nose. And then out the mouth, exhale, let it go. Good, from here, go ahead and blink the eyes open, slowly circle the arms all the way up above. On the inhale, interlace the fingers, turn the palms inside out. And then a little side bend over to the right, taking a couple of breaths there as you breathe into your left ribs. Come back up to center on the inhale. And then hands behind the head and neck on the exhale, allowing the elbows to bend and flare out. On the inhale, draw the arms back towards straight. And then side bend over to the left. Again, a couple of breaths there, just starting to create a nice little lengthening quality of spaciousness across the right side body. Come back up to center on the inhale. And then forward fold on the exhale as you melt all the way over and down. And then flat back on the inhale, hands to shins, heart lengthens out. Step back to plank pose, upper push up position, hold there, take one inhale to set. And then on the exhale with your weight forward, slowly float all the way down to the belly, release the tops of the feet, extend back to your toes. And then cobra on the inhale, draw the heart forward and up, keep those elbows in. And then on the exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips as you slide the body into that first down dog of this full body flow practice. So breathing in for about three to four seconds, breathing out for about three to four seconds as well. And using your breath as the wind, the wind to sail with. From downward facing dog, shift forward to plank pose, upper push up on the inhale. And then back to down dog on the exhale, hips up and back. Two more like that, inhale, slide forward. And exhale, glide the hips back. One more time, inhale forward to plank. And then exhale back to down dog, hold there, spread the fingers wide, take an inhale, stretch back, deepen in. And then on and exhale, go ahead and walk your feet all the way forward to the top of the mat. Flat back on the inhale, create some length. Forward fold, exhale, find some depth. Inhale, rise and fly, both arms up, interlace, palms inside out. Then lean to the right side, side bend, exhale. Come back up, inhale to center. And then hands behind the head and neck, exhale. Straighten those elbows and arms on the inhale. And then side bend to the left, exhale. Come back up to neutral on the inhale. And then forward fold on the exhale, melt over and down. Flat back on the inhale. This time we'll step back to plank and go ahead and lower down, same exhale, elbows in. Cobra on the inhale, sweep backward bend. And then down dog exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips. Come back to that breath, streamlining in and out through the nose. From down dog, inhale forward to plank, upper push up. 
and then lower halfway down, chaturanga, hover, exhale. Back to plank on the inhale. And then down dog, exhale, two more like that. Inhale forward. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, press up. And exhale, press back. One more time. Inhale forward, building some heat. Exhale, we call it tapasya. Inhale, back to plank. And exhale, down dog. Nice, you guys. Take an inhale, stretch back, deepen in. And then on the exhale, go ahead and walk the feet. Top of the mat again. Flat back, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, root to rise, both arms up high, interlace. And then side bend, exhale, leaning with grace. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, elbows bend, hands behind the neck. Inhale, draw towards straight. And then exhale, lean to the left. Come back up on the inhale, and then forward fold on the exhale, cascade. Flat back on the inhale, and step back to plank and lower down with upper body muscle. And cobra on the inhale with gentleness, with sensitivity, and then exhale, you got it. Down dog, check this out, lift the right leg up, inhale. Right knee, right arm, exhale, touch. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, right knee, left arm, cross. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, knee to belly. Inhale, right leg back. Down dog, set the right foot on the mat. Other side, left leg up, inhale. Left knee, left arm, exhale. Inhale, back. Exhale, right arm, cross. Inhale, draw back. Left knee to the core, exhale. Inhale, left leg back. Down dog, set the foot on the mat. One inhale to deepen that. And then on the exhale, walk or jump. Top of the mat. Flat back, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Bend the knees. And then old school chair pose. So if you're unfamiliar, your arms parallel to the ground, palms face down, little bend in those knees, weight drawing back into the heels and the glutes. Now from here, start to gradually shift the weight forward and then hover the heels off the ground. So challenging your balance and waking up the feet, the toes, the heels and the calves. Good, now let the heels come down with control. And reach those arms up. More of a typical chair pose. Palms face each other. Sit back a little deeper. Take one inhale, lift up a little higher. And then forward fold, exhale, let it go. Flat back, inhale. And then step or jump back. Lower down, exhale. Cobra or up dog on the inhale. And then down dog on the exhale. Right leg up, inhale. And then right knee to the belly, exhale, engage the core. Inhale, right leg back. And then exhale, right foot top of the mat, deep runner's lunge. Stay on the back left toes, and then as you're ready, crescent pose. Take both arms and reach those all the way up to the sky with your right thigh bent. Parallel to the ground, driving back long and strong through that back left leg. Fingers spread nice and wide. Give it one last inhale, reach up, maybe lean back and look up. And then exhale, vinyasa. And lower all the way down with control on the out breath. Followed by a huge inhale to inflate the lungs, the chest. And then exhale, down dog with mindfulness. Left leg up, inhale, it's a moving meditation. Left knee to the core, exhale. Inhale, left leg back. And exhale, left foot top of the mat. At your leisure, when you're ready. Go ahead and reach those arms all the way back up to the sky. As we use this practice, 
to tap into potential. And when your potential isn't expressed, is often when you feel depressed. But when that potential is activated and growing, it's hard not to be feeling the gratitude of life. Take one last inhale, reach a little high, and then vinyasa lower down with that focused mind. Inhale, cobra, pump a little blood into the spine. And exhale, you got it. Downward facing dog. All right, you guys, let's pick up the pace a little bit. So we have slow twitch muscle fibers and fast twitch muscle fibers. We want to be able to move at different rhythms. It's a little flow here. Inhale, stretch back. And then exhale, walk or jump. Top of the mat. Flat back inhale. Forward fold exhale, bend the knees. Old school chair inhale, arms parallel. Lift the heels, exhale. Heels down, chair, arms up. And then forward fold on that out breath. Flat back, inhale. Step or jump back. Lower down, vinyasa, exhale. Cobra, inhale. And then down dog, exhale. Now right leg up, inhale. Right knee to the belly, exhale. Inhale, right leg back. And exhale, right foot, top of the mat. Crescent pose, inhale, go ahead and float up with a little levity. And then vinyasa, go ahead and lower down, defying gravity. Inhale, open that heart a little wide. Exhale, down dog. Other side, left leg up, inhale. To the belly, exhale. Inhale, charge back. Exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, strong foundation, lift and elevate those arms. And then vinyasa, lower down with breath control. Huge inhale, sternum high, shoulders roll. Exhale, down dog. Let's keep the flow. Inhale, press back. Exhale, walk or spring, top of the mat. Flat back inhale, fold, exhale, bend the knees. Hold chair, inhale, lift those heels and balance, exhale, inhale, heels down, arms up, forward fold for that perfect touch, inhale, oxygen deep, exhale, step or jump back, and lower with impeccable strength, inhale, bend that spine, easy, exhale, down dog, inhale, right leg up. Exhale, belly to touch. Inhale, press long. Exhale, deep and strong. Inhale, crescent, come up. Sweep the arms back, exhale. Inhale, we repeat three more. Exhale, chest on thigh, two to go. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bring it back. One more time, inhale, come up. And then vinyasa. Lower down for that total body flow. Huge inhale into the lower lobes. Exhale, other side we flow. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, abdominals touch. Inhale, pierce back. Exhale, flow deep. Inhale, rise with breath. Exhale, sweep it behind. Inhale, come up light and free. Exhale, chest on knee. Inhale, lower body strong. Exhale, mind calm. Inhale, come up and shine. Exhale, vinyasa, lower down as you ride. Inhale, the waves of breath. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, press back. Exhale, walk or fly. Top of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold, bend the knees. Inhale, old chair. Exhale, lift those heels. Inhale, chair, heels down, arms up. Exhale, forward fall. Inhale, flat back, your breath is your fuel. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Bhujangasana. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg up. 
Exhale, abdominals touch. Inhale, back. Exhale, top of the mat. Now inhale, rise, crescent. And then warrior two. Let's turn that corner. Good job, you guys. Go ahead and line your right heel up with your back and your left arch. Spread those arms out nice and wide and feel the artwork of the pose. Now from here, straighten that right leg. Inhale, arms up, palms connect. And exhale, warrior two. Two more like that. Inhale, come on up. And exhale, come on down. One more time, inhale for the power of three. Exhale, lower down. Now flip that right palm up to the sky and then reverse the warrior. So you're gonna keep your right knee bent, beautifully deep so you feel the activation and the stimulation in that right thigh and that right quadricep. And then you lean back into another side bend, getting long through the whole right side torso. One last inhale, deepen that. And then exhale back, warrior two. Straighten your front right knee, right leg. Scoot your back foot in a couple of inches closer. Line the feet up heel to heel. Right toes, straight forward. Inhale, reach out to that right arm. And then exhale, right hand comes down. Left arm to the sky, triangle pose. And how's that breathing? For the duration of this half hour long class, try not to ever let a breath go by where you're not sucking it down deep as it'll go. Now from here, take the left hand and then bring it around behind the back. If it's available for you, you're gonna grab onto that inner right thigh. Otherwise you just rest it somewhere on your lower back and you stretch that little bodily chain where your inner chest and your inner shoulder joins together. Good, now keeping the bind, start bending your right knee. If you wanna use a block for this next one, feel free. And then we'll come up into bound, half moon. So balancing on your right foot, right leg, back left leg, long and strong. And if you fall, if you struggle, Celebrate that, because is there any other way to grow than by moving through challenge, difficulty, and adversity? Good, now, left arm, straight up to the sky. You want to challenge your balance. Right hand lifts off the ground or the block by a couple of inches, so everything's just balancing on your right foot, right leg, and balance. Demand your focus, your presence, and your attention. Now light as can be, float step back to warrior two. Reverse that warrior, inhale, come on back. And then cartwheel both hands to the mat, but pause when you make contact. From here, pivot onto the back left toes, and then lift your right leg up and back to that one leg dog. Start crawling your hands back by your left foot. Your hands are a good foot or so in front of that left foot there. And then lean into those five right fingertips, right leg parallel to the ground, the top of the left thigh draws back. And then when you're ready, left arm up to the sky for the twisting half moon, balancing pose. Remember to breathe. For a lot of us, especially when we're newer to yoga, if we watch closely, we'll notice that we hold and restrict the breath in those difficult poses. The practice is, can you keep the breath full? And in fact, the more challenging the pose, the more breath you want moving in and out through your nose. Take one last inhale there, and then left hand comes down. Crawl the hands forward back to the top of the mat and to that one-legged down dog. Now check this out, inhale, right knee, right arm, exhale, give it a little touch. Inhale, right leg back, and exhale, right knee, right arm, touch. Inhale, right leg back, and then right knee, right arm, hold there. Optional arm balance, you can lean forward, 
Cover the back left leg off the ground and draw your right leg out towards your version of straight. Good, now right leg back, inhale, and then single pigeon on the exhale. Right leg comes forward, should feel good after that last one. Right knee flares open to the right, and then you're just gonna allow your whole upper body for several breaths to draw down out over that right leg and breathe. Now here's my challenge, my invitation to you. Regardless of what yoga pose you're moving through, whether it's that previous arm balance, ekapada kundanyasana, or this pigeon pose, can you still keep the mind equanimous? So it's almost like it doesn't matter externally what's happening outside of you, what environment you're in, that you are in control of the inner domain of your mind. Good, go ahead and climb all the way back up onto the hands. Tuck the left toes underneath the left foot. Draw the right leg up and back. Open up that right hip, bend that right knee. And then flip your dog upside down as you reach your right arm all the way out. Root down into that left hand. Lift up through your navel, sweet back bend. One more inhale, full expression. And then exhale, right hand comes back down. Downward facing dog, reorganize. Good, now left leg up, inhale. Left knee to belly, exhale. Inhale, charge back. Exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, root to rise. And exhale, open out. Warrior two pose. Spread those feet out generously wide. Make sure your arms are where you think they are. You don't want that back arm flying out to some random place. Again, feel that perfect symmetry. And feel that flow of life force is irrigating through all the nadis, all the channels of the body. Let's pulse. Inhale, straighten the front leg, arms up. Exhale down, warrior two. Inhale, float up. And exhale, come down. One more time, inhale up. And exhale, back down, flip that left palm up. Reverse the warrior. One more inhale, deepen what you got. And then back to warrior two. Straighten that left knee, left leg. Scoot that back foot in, get those feet set. And then as you're ready, inhale, reach out to that left arm. And exhale, left hand comes down. Right arm to the sky as you feel the power of being in that triangular shape in yoga, what we call tree cone asana. Good, you guys. Take that right hand, slip it around behind the back, either rest it on your sacrum or come into that bind. You reach around and grab that inner left eye. Or if you're me, you got to reach around your little microphone pack. There we go. Start bending that left knee. Maybe get your block if you want it. And then bound half moon. So half moon can be challenging for people. And then you add the bind. And that adds another challenge. So an exercise, what we call progressive overload. This is how the body gets stronger. So each time that you practice something, you challenge yourself just a little bit more. And then you get a little bit stronger, a little bit more skillful. Take that right arm, reach it all the way up. You wanna challenge that balance more. Then you're lifting your left hand off the floor. You're balancing 100% of your weight on your left foot, left leg. Now really light, float step back to warrior two. Reverse that warrior, inhale. Cartwheel the hands down to the ground. 
Pivot on right toes, left leg back. When you're ready, crawl, walk your hands back by your right foot. Left leg parallel to the ground, inner thighs activated. Lean into the left hand, take that right arm, and reach it all the way up to the sky. And instead of fighting the pose, what would happen if you yielded to its power? You yielded to its intensity. And in the middle of that intensity, you still maintain that inner tranquility. Take one last inhale, open up, and exhale, right hand down. Crawl the hands forward, top of the mat. You know what's coming next. Let's get it done. Inhale, left leg back. Exhale, left knee, left arm. Inhale, press. Exhale, knee to arm. Inhale, one more. Exhale, touch the arm. Optional arm balance. Lifting that back right leg up. Extending that left leg out. And bringing a little spiciness into the mix. Inhale, left leg back. And then single leg pigeon pose. Oh yeah. Slide that right knee, right leg back. Make it a hip stretch, not a knee stretch. And when you're ready, go ahead and melt your upper body down over that left leg. So much of our culture, so much of our society teaches us to stay stuck in our comfort zone. But we have to taste a little bit of the mystery and a little bit of uncertainty by pushing that edge, by exploring what's just beyond our boundaries, which means every day we have to challenge ourselves and to have the courage to do hard things. And when we do that, we grow. And when we grow, we know that we have so much potential within. <sighs> Come up onto the hands, tuck the right toes underneath, bring that left leg back, roll that left hip open, bend that left knee, flip that dog upside down. Good, left hand back down to the ground. Left foot rolls back around. Last down dog. Give it a good by inhale stretch. And then exhale, release the knees down onto the ground. Crawl the knees forward towards the top of the mat. Cross the feet behind you. Go ahead and release all the way down onto your back. Time's almost up, so knees bend in. Cactus the arms. Let the knees twist over to the left. Knees back up to middle. Same thing to the other side, knees over to the right. Just feel yourself slowing everything back down. Knees back up to neutral, grab the shins. Take an inhale, curl the forehead up to the knees. Give the whole body one last squeeze. And Shavasana, release all the way down onto your back as we take a final rest. As they say in the Shaolin tradition, the greatest views often come after the hardest climbs. So go ahead and enjoy the view and not the view that exists outside of you, but the greatest view that exists internally inside. Shavasana.
And nice and easily, draw the knees and thighs back into your belly. Gently rock and roll your way all the way up to a last final seat where we'll seal the practice. Bring the hands up to prayer position in front of your chest, in front of your heart. As Pema Chodron said, be kinder to yourself and let your kindness flood the world. Give gratitude to your practice for creating the space and the environment where you could strengthen that kindness and that self-compassion. And now envision yourself moving into the rest of your day and allowing that to pervade all that you do. Much health, much wealth, much love to you. Namaste. All right, you guys, you made it through that practice. I want to thank you for joining me. Feel free to drop a comment down below. And let me know how your class was. Also remember to hit that subscribe button and to check out that link for Interdimension TV. That's it for now. We'll see you next time.